Even the strongest AIDS drugs couldn't fully control 52-year-old Matt Chappelle's HIV infection. Now his body can do that on its own. You don't have to really deal with side effects from some of the medications that are out there. Chappelle was in a study in 2014 that edited a gene to make some of his blood cells resistant to HIV. Chappelle's doctor says it's technically not a cure because the virus remains. But this could be the next best thing. Well, Matt's gene therapy is not, it's not fully controlling his HIV, but it is doing a fairly good job of suppressing the virus in his blood. Chappelle is one of the lucky ones. Only a few of the 100 others in those experiments were able to stay off HIV drugs for a couple of years. The rest still need medicines to keep HIV suppressed. But some see it as a good beginning. I think all this gene editing technology is really going to play out in a, in a good way for, for diseases like HIV. Sangamo Therapeutics created the gene editing tool called Zinc Fingers Nucleuses. They're used to edit T cells, part of the immune system that HIV infects. We take the immune cells from the patient and then we edit them with zinc fingers, but we do it outside the body and then we give the patients back the edited T cells. Scientists remove some of Chappelle's blood through an IV. DNA instructions to make the gene editing tool are sent into the cells. The editing tool snips out part of a gene that helps HIV enter. The modified cells that now resist infection are now returned to him. Many scientists are trying different ways to improve the therapy with funding from the National Institutes of Health. Very um, bold, innovative techniques, mostly to try and cure people who are HIV infected. One study is doing a two-step approach. At the University of Pennsylvania, scientist James Riley is trying to do the same editing Chappelle had, plus adding a gene to help cells recognize and kill HIV. We're trying to uh, see if we can get a long-term remission uh, and, and have people off their current therapy uh, and see if the cells can replace that and ultimately see if we can re rid them of HIV. Chappelle believes the therapy has given him the gift of time. If you were to ask me um, in the early 90s if I'd be sitting here right now, no way. Giving him hope that he and others may not need HIV treatment in the future. Kathy Young, Associated Press.